Yeah. So, like, there's little bits that are different. But look at how, the, how cool this would look. Right? If we just get these hotel rooms looking like this, it's going to look awesome. <sighs> all right. Let me, uh, let me dink around with decorations and how things can be positioned and all that stuff. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, let me just give me a second and I'll be, ri I'll be right back.
Okay, it uh, it took me a bit, just a little bit, to kind of play around with different designs and 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 try to figure out what plants I wanted where and and all that stuff. And and even now, there's still some stuff that I'd like to fix, like just making sure that each one of these are not exactly the same color plant and stuff, right? Like there's there's little things like that where I think that uh, this can be improved a little bit. But uh, this is uh, definitely a master suite of sorts. Uh, there is a lot of stuff going on in here. Uh, I did change the floor design. I, I discovered these themed floors and kind of went, oh yeah, we gotta have that. So uh, the bathroom is, I, I figured if I'm already gonna go gold, I might as well just go all out on that gold. So there you go. Uh, but it looks pretty nice, I like it. Then you come into this door, which uh, I think we're gonna put a uh, different frame on these doors. Is this? Uh, cancel? What? Why Why is this uh, warning me? There it goes. What was I trying to do? Oh, I think I might have hit delete on the color and then it confirmed with me. That's a good feature. I like that. Uh, but I thought we could make darker doors, right? So make the, make the doors darker and, uh, you know, really just, I don't know, try to play to the theme here. So we've got uh, a personal gym for our guests in these master suites, right? And uh, I, initially I was gonna do a conference room here. So I need to dezone this, uh, cause this was eventually gonna, this was gonna be a conference room. Uh, and now it's back to being the hotel room. So where is my hotel room? There we go. Just make sure all of this is the same. Okay, good. Uh, so, Basically, I was trying to figure out a way. Can we get like a dinner table kind of thing where you have like a table, you can all sit at it, eat, chairs. That doesn't seem to exist for private rooms. Uh, I have them in a lot of hotel rooms that I've stayed at before, when, especially when they're multi-people rooms and stuff. Like when you have like the double, you know, you have like two, two double beds kind of things. Uh, a lot of times those types of rooms will have you know, maybe their own fridge and their own uh, table that you can sit at and stuff. They don't seem to have that in the game, so I opted to instead, uh, because those the, the conference room tables is where I was going with on that. They're these, uh, not this one, but this one. This is like the right size for that space. I really liked this. It was like, yeah, cool, we could try that. But it requires a conference room, and I was like, I don't want people coming in here to do conferences. So in any case, we've got uh, a separate television here for the gym, then a big television here with a place to kick back, relax got a coffee table here for things I don't think I can place anything on that coffee table I was uh, maybe looking for something that I might be able to place on the table and there doesn't seem to be any uh, you know table placeable things in the game so okay is what it is we have a mostly bare wall and uh, I thought about maybe do doing some extra artwork stuff you know kind of moving this over and having something else be here uh, but uh, I don't know like this spot maybe yes but I don't want to crowd it I don't want it to get really crowded, right? I like the light open space. There's a lot of open space here. Uh, I was looking for some, a lot of other things that I've seen in other hotel rooms and I, I just never really, I, I didn't get them. So uh, I'll have to wait. But uh, we have some other pieces of art we could put here. Maybe that aren't so, like this one's not bad. This one's pretty cool actually. If I move this one up into a position that's maybe here. And then um, is there any way I can change the color on that? Yeah, yeah, something like, uh, maybe a little bit lighter like that. Yeah, that's cool. So we have like, I just, like I said, we're going all out on the gold here, but some of these things are darker in color. So we've got the, the chair and the gold pillow, gold-ish, I guess, pillow, whatever this color is. Several different lamps around the room. They can get lighting. I was looking for a bookshelf. Like what about reading material and stuff? They don't seem to have anything like that. I would like the ability to like place magazines or something and like have guests read. I mean, something like the lounge around it is what it is. I still don't know if they're gonna use the balcony, but I've done what I can to make this thing look classy and to make it a place people wanna hang out, All right? There's good lighting here for during the nighttime, but it's low lighting, mood lighting kinds of things. There's also a fire pit right here. And I thought about maybe moving this back, but the thing is like, I can't center it. There's just nowhere where I could make this a centered thing with these couches and such. And I thought maybe putting them along the side of this, but eh, I went for this because I thought if I put it near this and if everybody on that balcony all lights their fire pits at once, then this whole place 
just think of how cool that would be if you're down here and you like look up and there's just actual fire going in from the top side here with these fire pits. I, I just think that's probably the way to go on this. So I, I've, I've placed it up against the balcony. Um, then we have these railings that go all around the outside and this is going to go all around the outside. So we're just going to take this all the way around, all the way around. And I haven't decided if I wanted to, I think for privacy reasons, I don't, but I thought it wouldn't be cool if guests could just wander around like this whole area was wanderable wanderable is that a thing yeah maybe wanderable they could all just wander and go say hi to each other and hang out with each other but then i thought you know i wouldn't want that if it was my room so never mind uh so we're gonna have these little uh i guess these little pits i guess uh, these little flower areas that separate each room's balcony so there's a little bit of space between them they're not directly over and uh, it'll go all across here, all around here, and uh, that'll be how that works. So there's our master suite. There's, again, a lot of space here, mostly because I kind of thought I wanted to place something and then decided maybe I don't want to place that something. Um, one, one thing I was considering would be, like, these statues. Not this one specifically, but, like, I thought about maybe, like, this one. I was playing around with this one over here for a little bit, trying to figure out if there's anything... Like should I do this or sh can I can I get away with maybe having like a you know a statue in the middle of the room sort of thing But in the end I just decided against it. It didn't have a functional purpose It doesn't really add to the aesthetic very much. I think I just like the openness of the room uh, more than anything else So uh, I can click this it says the price satisfaction is hundred and fifty percent. I Don't know if that's updated but um, I'm making this 500 a night, so I'm gonna take this to 800 a night. There we go, now we're starting to see them reflected. So 600 a night, 94% satisfaction. So, I mean, I can get 94% satisfaction on 600 a night with this room. Uh, and I think that's pretty, that's pretty awesome, I think. Uh, but I'm gonna make this, make sure people really wanna stay here by going maybe 550. 560, 570, wow. Okay, now we're starting to see an adjustment. So 575 we'll have for this room. And this will be our price for all suites, 575. Now the thing is, uh, I kind of need to make really good price satisfaction over 100% because there's not multiple classifications for rooms. And rooms that are not like this, like say these ones here, they're going to be uh, not as good as these so the price satisfaction is going to go down on those rooms so we really want people to love this one and be really okay with this one even though they're in the exact same classification so i don't want to have 94 percent on this room because chances are there's going to be like 50 percent with that same price structure uh, on these other rooms so uh i also am noticing a little bit of a problem here can i get hmm this is not designed right. And uh, do I want the gold there? Yeah. I mean, I thought about maybe doing this, but this is too much gray. I think it's too gray. We'll go gold on that too. So this is our, this is our template. And then what we want to do here, uh, because we cannot clone walls, what I have to do is make this wall right here um, built into every room. And then I can clone the whole room and bring it over and the walls will still be lined up. And I kind of want to do the same thing with the fences and stuff and bring them all around, all around the outside like that, okay? So I'm going to take care of that right now and uh, we'll have all that stuff. But I, I hope you guys like, I mean, I would love to stay in this room. <laughs> uh, there's obviously some stuff, like I said, that I'd like to have, but uh, I don't have it. I thought about putting vending machines in here cause there's no like wet, there's like a wet bar not thing. There's not, there's not anything like where you can just, you know, grab stuff. There's the wine rack, which I put in, but eh, I don't know about that, man. Uh, there's other stuff. Like I thought about putting their own private, ven uh, their own uh, private, uh, what do you call it? Um, slot machine in here but then you know people might be hackers we won't be able to see them hack it they're gonna t I have to stock it with money anyway it's like they're gonna just steal it I'm not gonna bother with that and then having my guards and workmen having to come all the way around to every room to restock stock machine uh, slot machines yeah no thanks I'm not gonna do that that's gonna that's really really dumb so in any case I'm gonna lay all these in uh, all around the perimeter here. I may have to tweak where these walls and stuff are located, um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and uh, I'll be right back. 
All right, so I started laying in the rooms like this with a big old copy paste. Also, I misspoke. You can totally copy walls of the clone tool. I, I'm, I'm done. Uh, but what you can't do is copy the just the items. It's going to take the wall with you is what I meant to say, and that doesn't apply. So just ignore me. Anyway, uh, I ran into a quick problem with this room. So I'm going to pause it really quick just so I don't get people running through here when I'm unfinished. This little corner piece goes to the end of this room and so when i copy the whole room over and have this other side like it was it crosses over that wall segment and therefore all the balconies end up being incorrectly aligned uh so by having this switched to where it looks like this instead we have this little area between the two rooms that's gonna allow this area to match up with this however then i still have the problem where this is well, it's not right on the edge of the room anymore, right? It's 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 gonna cause there to be a plant here instead. So like, I have to redo the balcony so that it properly aligns with the rooms, and uh, and then paste them over. But all the other rooms copied brilliantly. They're real easily done. Uh, I'm getting massive screen tearing. What the hell is going on with this game? It does not like. I guess it just doesn't like VSync. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so I need to redo this, and it needs to be done differently to where this segment ends exactly where this does uh, and that way you know like I can copy and paste it all the way over right now I can do that but look what happens if I was to copy all of this basically you end up with a situation where the plant is gonna get doubled and I, I don't want that so I gotta figure it out and I'm just gonna tweak it for a little bit and I'll be right back all right so I ran into a spacing issue uh, actually by laying these in and uh, it's the balconies. So I want these, the square uh, brick here, I want these to be the corner of, of this area. And I want that to be the same on both sides. And it's a good thing I started placing this. And it, I, honestly, it's a good thing that I ran into this issue and was like, okay, I got to fix it. Um, because it forced me to place the corners first so that I knew what space I was working with. And by doing that, I actually realized that this was only three out uh, instead of the four that it needs to be the rest of these are four away from this so all the balconies are four tiles like this right and uh, this one was three so I had to deconstruct this wall or demolish this wall one more in so that I can get the corners in place and uh, we'll just pretend that staff you know they they reach over the fence to, to treat this stuff I guess this is what we'll pretend but the point is that it throws off all the spacing because the corner matches up with the headboard, basically, or the end of this room, right? It matches up with the end of this room. And the problem with that is that when you get over here, well, now the corner's here and, uh, you know, what gives? There's nothing happening over here. They don't line up. And uh, so I need, these, I need this side to be basically a mirror image of this side. And to make the spacing consistent, I kind of need this one to be a mirror image of this one. So... I gotta tweak all the spacings and stuff around here and so that kind of is involving playing with fences a lot because uh when you copy uh, a room design or when you do the clone tool let's say if i want to clone this when you place that fence it doesn't carry over the colors when you clone it and that's that sucks uh that sucks a lot actually because you really can't adjust the fence you can't select the wall and adjust it afterwards there's no at least it doesn't seem to be uh, a design tool alteration that I can do to this. It's sort of like a wall, except for the part where I can't paint it. Like I can do this and choose it ahead of time, right? But I can't alter an existing fence. I don't. I don't see how to do that. Um, and which kind of is the strange part is that there's still a copy and paste function to this. Like if I copy, uh, what do I do here? Oh, I just. Oh, you just overlap it. Okay, I never even tried that. All right, good. We just have to redraw the fence, I guess. Cool. Uh, anyway, I, I, it's not a big deal. I've been just deleting and remaking them. It's whatever. In any case, though, uh, they kind of need to be a mirror images of each other because of the spacing problems up here. So uh, I need to tweak a little bit of where these rooms are. So I use my D zone tool to measure things because it doesn't really impact it much. And from this fence to this fence is 48 means I got 12 tiles of space to be shared 
for each room, 12 tiles for each room. But because I want space between those rooms, uh, like something like this, for example, well, okay, now I have 10 for each. So this is 10 wide. This is now 10 wide. I've, I've extended it. Notice where the, the fence is relative to the couch, right? The fence used to be right on the couch. I've extended each one two tiles this way. This one was extended two tiles this direction though. So different directions. This one is extended this way too. And I think I kind of have to redo that and move it to be where this one is, which is also extended in this direction. So I, I think I have to kind of shuffle these just a little bit so that I get the spacing exactly the way I want. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep tweaking these and moving things around and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so it turns out the things that it's giving me the hardest problem here is mostly that there's, it's kind of like there's an odd number of things to share. Because I'm putting a divider between these rooms and there's only three dividers, it makes an even number for even distribution into an odd number. And uh, it was kind of throwing me off. So each of these balconies are now 11 tiles, not 12, even though it's 48 wide. And uh, by doing that, I get a nice uh, divider, which I can put between some of the rooms, but I've opted to have the center one be a double to offset that difference. So at least it's in the middle. So we end up with balconies looking like this. And uh, this does mean that the door is in a slightly different spot for each of these individual rooms. So I kind of need to move some of these just to line them up if I wanted to line them up with the other. Does that not match? That doesn't match. How does it not match with snap position? There it goes, weird. I might have to dig into this. I'm not sure this one matches either. My eyes are playing tricks on me. In any case though, uh, the pots need to be in a different spot, right? So I went ahead and I copied this one to each one. And then I had to sort of copy this one in a different spot in order to get it to match with this, right? So this is our balconies, or these are, are the balconies. And uh, I have to move the couches and stuff to line up the way uh, I wanted them to. I don't think this will be such a huge issue. What we can do is just have like a hangout space, sort of like this instead. And uh, I can put the pot, I can put the pots and stuff on the interior if I wanted to, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I can play around with sort of like centering things and making cool hangouts and maybe move the doors again to just to kind of go with that. But uh, I think if I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that kind of off the air just because it's. I don't know. I, I, sometimes I feel like I don't know what to show you guys. Like, what can I skip over and what can I just, you know, fill you in on after the fact, that kind of stuff. And this part here, I think it was a bit of a mixture. Probably I edited this in a bit of a mixture, but I'm okay with this. These are pretty big balconies, to be honest. They're probably too big, but it's decent spacing between them like this. If I was to do each one to be 10, then I'd have another problem where there's got to be another little flower area in the middle. And uh, maybe that is a better call. Maybe that would work better, actually, because these are really big balconies. I don't know if I like how big they are. Let's assume for a moment that I take one tile away from each one of these. It would have to be on this side, I guess. If I take one tile away, uh, this one would have to move. Nope. It's, it wouldn't be this one moving. It would still be this one moving. Yeah. Because, I again, I don't really like how big they are. So let's say we do this, and then I take one tile away on... No, it would be this side that I'm taking it away on, wouldn't it? See, this is my problem. Like, doing this is... It's so tedious. And it, this is the stuff I, no, I don't normally do. Um, because I, generally speaking, I don't have fun min-maxing things like this. But for some reason, I care this time. <laughs> I feel like the Grinch in the movie. It's like, and I care! What's wrong with me? <laughs> it's kind of what's happening right now. Uh, I actually care. Uh, I'm going to tweak these again. I, I want the balcony smaller. I think they're too big. And I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I think... I think I figured it out. It took some moving around, man, but I, I think we got her here. So uh, multi-select these two and move them into position there. 
And okay, so all of these are now 10. Oh, this is such a big waste of time. 10 tiles wide. Here we go. There you go. Okay. All of them are 10 wide. And then what we end up with because of that is two of these between these, which I think is adequate spacing. And then in the middle, we do another one of these. Please fit. Thank you. Ah, uh, we do another one of these, all right? And that ends up being our balcony area. Just get rid of this. That ends up being the balcony area. It's completely the same for all rooms, right? We gotta tweak where the fire pits are maybe, and like this isn't in the middle anymore because I made it bigger, so we can make it like this, and we can tweak what sorts of, you know, the, where the plants are located. Most likely we wanna put them maybe on the ends. Something like this instead. Yeah, open it up and maybe we can have some extra seating. I don't know. Everybody can have a party if they want to. There's plenty of room for everyone to have their own party on the balcony. Okay. You take those wine bottles I gave them and they can go in here and do that, right? And then, you know, and honestly, the balconies aren't even being configured. Uh, aren't even being considered for the price of the room either because the price of the room and their satisfaction with the pricing is dependent on the amenities located in the room and these don't count like i think the guests will hopefully use them but these don't count uh so i don't know uh i can take the benches and maybe do like an extra bench on this side and maybe like an extra bench on this side and just sort of i don't know get extra seating out here right who knows maybe they want to hang out with their friends in this fire pit area and then we can shift all of the fire pits over one because now I've changed where the benches are. So we'll do that. Uh, this one's good already and so is this one. So we end up with our balconies, okay? This is done, all right? It's done. Now, the biggest question I have is, will this work along this and along this? Is it the same length? It should be but I don't know if it is. Okay, that's 48, excellent. And that is 48, very good. And one more moment of truth, oh, bam, 48, okay. So hypothetically speaking, I should be able to clone this whole thing and paste it here and have it just work, hypothetically. So we do this, are we doing this? We do this and oh my god the game hates me <laughs> yeah the game hates me it hates me and it should fit it looks like it just fits right there perfect the only problem is you know the brick the brick plants and stuff are gonna interrupt the the clone operation um so what you do i guess in this situation is you go like this and you see if you can paste it without the clone operation here we go. So I should be able to hypothetically line this up like I did before, paste it, come over here, uh, or not. Hi. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, I I I think I glitched it. Oh, there it goes. We're back. We're back. And and it's the other side. No, you got to go the other way. Oh, come on. Flip over. Oh no, we're almost there. Come on game. We're almost there. It's the finish line. It's coming. That is the right way. Yes. Okay. So line up with this wall. Hit go. There we go. And we just got to go one more, but no, we don't. We don't want to go over here because we can't. We can't copy that whole thing. Whew. Okay. Breathe. There it is. See the sweets. They're lined up. It's beautiful. Oh, it's coming together guys. Now the balconies. Please, balconies, you can do this. Now, I have to redo the fences, of course. We know this. But um, the hope is that uh, this will just work. And uh, it looks to me like it's being blocked by the commercial single doors. Yeah, that's my that's my ongoing issue right now, is that for some reason, even though you're cloning things on top of things, it's not recognizing that the, the thing you're trying to place there is already there. And the doors are one of those things. So what I've been finding out somewhat the hard way excuse me um okay so the game doesn't like doing this <laughs> it doesn't like cloning like this 
All of the artwork is on the outside for those rooms, but inside, they're, they're here no problem. I feel like they're probably inside. This might just be a graphical problem. Like, I can, I can move this back in relatively easy, but... I mean, it, it does actually appear on the outside. I can't select it from the inside, I don't think. It's okay. I'll just replace them. It's They don't have to be perfect, right? It's not like guests are going to come in and be like, Huh, you know, it's nice that, I, uh, that you have all these decorations, but I was here last week. I was here last week, and I could have swore this thing was five inches to the left. <laughs> Nobody's going to do that. So um, it's, it's fine. We're just going to place them in the room anywhere. It, it doesn't matter. And uh, I'm tired of messing with it. <laughs> All right, two more. Just get them in there in the rooms the way they're supposed to be. Mass copy paste, man. At least the co at least copy paste exists, right? Shh. I'm gonna poke fun at evil genius all day long. Seriously, how do you guys not think about that? There it is. Okay. So, what? I missed one. I certainly did. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, at least has to line up with the top one of this one, right? At least has to be... Yeah. And this one doesn't. I'm gonna get this one in here, too. And like that. Okay. Uh, I did it here, too. Wow. I'm on a roll, guys. There we go. Does that match? It absolutely... I mean, it doesn't, but I don't think there's a way to do it. Unless I do a free placement. I have to do free placement in order for that to match. I have to bring it up a little bit with uh, the horse. I can horizontal snap, but then bring it up vertically. Because I need to match it to this little like line here. To actually have that line up. It's not that it matters. Does it matter though? I'm not really cloning this room again, am I? I don't think I am. It's fine. Okay, uh, so balconies. Oh, good board. In order to do this, I have to get rid of the doors. That's the trick. And then it will let me do it. Because the doors interrupt the paste. So we'll just go like this, like this, and like this. And maybe it's because they're commercial doors. And that brings me to my next question later on, which is, will it work with commercial doors? Don't know. Let's find out. And I'm going to have to go this way with it. And now I can, should be able to place that, no problem. And notice the doors are placed when I do this. Um, so if you were wondering, yes, the doors get placed when I do that. Uh, okay, so hey, game, can I, uh, can I trouble you for a moment? Video game? Video game? Hi, can I? Uh, <laughs> it does not like mass copy paste. There it goes. All right, don't rotate again and go. There we go. Okay, exit out of this. Let's test it. Let's check it out. Make sure everything looks good. We obviously have to redo the fences because that doesn't get copied. And everything seems okay. All right, so I need to redo the fences, which I thought I had to reduce. I'm, I'm glad that I can just paint over top of it. Um, I can't really... I don't remember being able to do that with other things, so I guess that's just how you do fences. But we just go all the way across, like so. Oh, yeah, there it is. And then we just draw it. So there you go, guys. This is how our hotel is going, Okay. This video is probably stupid long at this point. And I've been I've been playing this for like eight hours. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm probably gonna have to take a break here. I think for a little while. This is actually pretty damn fun. Uh, like this. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So somehow we missed a light. Oh. It, oh. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That happened. So the light's going to have to get placed again. And this one's actually floating. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mass copy paste is not a bug free experience. So it's not bug free. But it's uh, it's still nice that it exists. Okay. Because this would take me a lot longer. Like the fact that I have to fix a couple of lights is it's kind of whatever, you know, like I can deal with that. But this is our. Uh, our hotels and balconies. Do you see how that's forming? It's pretty sick, right? 
I think that's really slick. As long as they're using the balconies, that's really slick. I want to see the fire pits all line up. All light up, I guess. I don't think they will, but man, if there was a fire in the fire pit, that'd be great. Like, make it light up, you know? Aww. All right. Guys, I'm going to have to fix some of the floating lights. I think there's a few. Yep, on this wall. I have to fix all the floating lights. Uh, I'm going to leave the rest of this for the next video. We got some more hotel rooms to design, but we've done some pretty good work today. Uh, for one video, I think this is going to work really well. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll join you. Uh, I hope you'll join me next time for more hotel room shenanigans. See ya. Bye-bye.